Welcome to the Rutgers Gardens. You're standing on a piece of land that's been part of the Rutgers University since 1916, and all told, it's about 180 acres in size. On this piece of property, peach industry got resurrected. In the late 1800s, there was a um, San Jose scale, and it decimated all the peach farms. So a gentleman named Professor Blake and Professor Connors did uh, breeding work here to develop a peach, which was high yielding so that they could reduce the size of the farms. And the, there's still a Blake peach out in production, but that was developed here on this site. The Rutgers tomato was developed back in the early 30s. It was developed in combination with the Campbell Soup Company, but it also had a great taste to it. And uh, so that tomato, what a lot of people got to know Rutgers by. Where we're standing right now was dedicated to uh, perennials and to woody shrubs. The thought behind this was that they expected a housing boom to happen in New Jersey. This is the late 1800s. There were not enough nurseries in New Jersey to support a housing boom. So they thought, well, why don't we start planting some stuff that would be of interest in another 10 or 15 years. Starting in 1965, the gardens were open to the community. Around 1990, uh, it became really open to the public, 365 days a year. I actually come here often um, to walk around the gardens and visit the wonderful farmer's market here. I think it's beautiful. I really love it here. We live locally, so we do come often. It's a, uh, a decent place to bring small children if you uh, enjoy the outdoors and hiking because they have a few trails in the woods that are pretty short and easy to get through. We usually bring a backpack with some snacks and some water so we hang out for a few hours. It actually has uh, several missions, one of which obviously since we're affiliated with Rutgers University is educating students. A lot of classes come here. We have between 12 and 16 student interns who work here. Uh, they learn general horticulture, but they also learn the value of a public garden. The farm market and the student farm have several missions. The first one was just to say, okay, here we are, we're here. The market originally started out as Eat Local, um, you know, which it still is, you know, it's all local vendors, but then it's sort of taken on the added thing of what can we do today to sort of uh, reduce our uh, impact on the world. We're at the student farm at Rutgers Gardens. We're trying to create an outdoor classroom, not just for Rutgers students, but also for the local community to be able to see and be exposed to alternative growing methods. This year we partnered with the Rutgers Student Food Pantry, so we're donating a third of what we're growing to those students who are food insecure. Many people may not realize, but there are many college students around the country that do not necessarily know where their next meal is coming from. At Rutgers, it's about one third of all, all students, graduate, undergraduate. A lot of folks don't necessarily know where their food comes from or how it is grown and what goes into the whole process. We feel like if we're able to educate folks and to show them what it takes to actually produce food, they're going to be a lot more conscientious in the, in the stores and the farmer's markets. The farmer's market, there are so many wonderful, tasty things there. I do tell people to come here. Should we share them with everybody? The one takeaway that I would love people to have, they get a little touch of nature in counties such as Middlesex, which is very densely populated, to have this little oasis of green I think is very important for the community. Hi, I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.